hey you guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be doing a cash envelope stuffing we are going to be stuffing a few of our sinking funds and all of our cash envelopes but before we do that i wanted to go ahead and work a budget with you guys that is a question that i am getting a lot in my email and on facebook is how do I know how much to put towards sinking funds? So today I'm going to show you how I know how much to put towards my sinking funds. This is not a one size fits all budget. This is not the only way to budget, but this is the way I do it. And then you can go ahead and either do it exactly like me or make it your own. I have a handful of videos on my channel showing you guys step by step how I pay my bills. I'm not going to do that in this video because I just simply want to show you guys how I know how much to pull for my sinking funds and all that etc etc. So what I'm getting to is if you want to see one of those go to my playlist and go to how to and there's a ton of videos over there. I haven't changed my strategy it's still what's been working for me so go ahead and check one of those out if you want to see how i pay my bills because that's what, not what we're doing today so after all of our bills have been paid we have 643 dollars left over what i do next is i take this amount and i disperse it amongst these cash envelopes that i have organized for myself i figured out okay these are the monies <laughs> these are the categories that I go overboard with spending when I use my debit card. So that's why I've moved to cash spending for these categories. So that's why they're here. Your categories might be different. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to figure out where your money's going. Then you got to figure out what categories you would like to just start spending cash for. Because when you run out of cash and you're not using your debit card, you're not gonna be able to spend over in those categories. Well, for me, this was it right here. Now that I know how much I have to work with after my bills have cleared, we're gonna work on these categories. For groceries, I wanna do 150. And we are a family of seven. The only reason why I'm doing 150 is because we're gonna be getting paid again this Friday. So I only need enough money to take me through the next uh, four days so that's why it's 150 household i'm going to do ten dollars simply because of that same reason kids fun is going to get zero because it's really cold where i am we're not going to be leaving the house we're not going anywhere they don't need to be doing anything outside of the house that's going to cost money and then dining I'm going to go ahead and give us $35 in cash. I had somebody ask me if we're such a large family, how do we only do $35 or $30 in dining? And this is not like family out dining, like we're not all going somewhere, sitting down. This is like mom can't cook tonight and I'm going to pick up pizza or I'm going to pick up tacos. And I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to eat better and cook more at home, so that's why we're able to stick within this budget sometimes we'll go up into fifty dollars but that's like not today <laughs> and then beauty i'm gonna give myself 10 and then honey he's actually going to get 200 because i owe him money from he had gotten a bonus in uh, december and we used his bonus money towards christmas presents so i told him like we'll go ahead and give you a two hundred dollars <laughs> what's supposed to be yours it's yours and we'll go ahead and get you can have that back um in january and we're just now getting around to that because you guys already know just how crazy you know january was for us now let's go ahead and add these up so our total for our cash expenses are going to be four hundred and five dollars so whenever i take my 643 and I subtract that 405, that gives me $238 difference. All right, now we're gonna just scoot it up just a little bit right there. Now with that 238, I wanna figure out, okay, my bills have been cleared, now I have enough money for my cash spending categories, so now I know I have 238. I want to go ahead and put $50 
into Dead Snowball. And I'm not going to put anything into our savings this time. This is our three to six months savings, like a three to six months ahead. I'm not going to put anything there. And I'm going to go ahead and total 50 plus zero is 50. So then I'm going to take that 238 and we're going to subtract the 50 from there. And that gives me a difference of 188. So now I know that after my bills have been cleared and I stuff my cash envelopes, I put money towards debt. I'm choosing not to put anything towards savings. I have $188 left over to put towards my sinking funds. Now, oh, I just wrote it down here. I'm sorry, guys, I didn't show you. So I just brought this difference down here because I want to be able to go ahead and use every single dollar. So I'm going to take my income of 643 and I'm going to break it down for you right here. My cash envelopes were a total of 405. My debt snowball is getting 50. My three to six months is getting zero. And then we should have a zero balance after we do all this calculation here. 643 minus 405 minus 50 minus 188. And we have a zero base budget. And that is it, you guys. That is exactly how I do it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get dressed. I'm going to run to the bank and I'm going to get the cash to go ahead and stuff this money and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I am back and we're just going to go ahead and get with it. Okay, so um, let's see. Got the cash here and my cash envelopes. Oh, what am I doing? That needs to stay there. And I do notice that I have um, more s subscribers on my channel and I didn't even, I don't think I did a proper intro earlier, but um, if you are new here, my name is Kadima. I also go by Q here on YouTube and I am just sharing my debt-free journey. I share with you guys my savings challenges and um, since starting my channel, I have been able to pay off my credit card, pay off my honey's credit card, pay off my son's truck. I was able to put braces on my oldest son, which to me, I was like, growing up, I needed braces and I never got them. And then whenever I was putting myself through college, I had to... Um, pay for my own braces so being able to do that for him was such a huge blessing and yeah so if you've been with me from the beginning of my uh, channel since the beginning since I started my channel I just want to say thank you so much because <sighs> being on a debt-free journey is really really hard and then putting yourself out here on YouTube, it's it's not hard, but it's it's like it's just a whole different. It's just different, right? So you guys just being here and being so supportive and welcoming and encouraging, I cannot say it enough about how thankful and grateful that I am for you guys. You guys always inspire me in the comments you guys help me remember how blessed i am and how far i've come and i'm telling you this channel would not be where it's at today if it wasn't for each and every single one of you like you guys are the reason why i am getting youtube income amazon affiliate income like that's because of you guys if it if it wasn't for you guys that would not be happening for me in my life and so I am forever grateful and you know I just I just want to recognize you guys for just being so amazing and supportive okay um but yeah let's see so for gas and 
gash. <laughs> oh, golly. So for gas and groceries, we're doing 150. So one and 50. Okay. And then household, we're going to go ahead and do $10. And then kids fun is getting skipped. Dining is getting 35. 20, 30, and 5. And then beauty is going to get 10. That is um, not for my hair and makeup. Somebody had asked, is that all you give yourself for hair and makeup? No, that's just my spending. And then honey is going to get 200. So 150, that makes 200. And his, I'm going to go ahead and just fold his like this because I'm gonna have to give him that right away. And then these go in here. She's nice and stuff, and she's getting moved to the side. All right, you guys, now let's go ahead and get into our sinking funds. So this is the column that we are stuffing. This was from our first stuffing. This is from today. So medical is going to get five. Go ahead and take out the tracker. Now we have 1, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, and 85. So 185 here. Dental is getting skipped. And then we're going to move to our closed envelope. And I'm going to go ahead and give us $10 here. Hold on, you guys. Let me start checking these off. One, ten, and twenty, and then grandmother is going to get ten. Fifty, sixty-five, and that is all for this binder. Now we are moving on to this binder is my debt snowball binder, my credit card binder, and my small business binder. This is like my, you know, my get with it binder. <laughs> debt snowball is going to get 50. Now we have 150 here. Credit card is going to get 95. I used to not be, after I paid off my credit card, it took me like a whole year to be able to use it again. And that was just because um, I just, just didn't have, um, you know, really good spending habits. 20, 40, 60, 80. 85, 90. Do I want to take a 5 here? 95. Let's count that. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95. Okay. Um, but now, andale. So now what we do is I use my credit card to pay the monthly um, expense for my son's braces. And then I pay my credit card back at the end of the month. And it's just easier for me to manage that way. So 120, 40, 60, 80, 210, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And so I have 230. His braces are 215. So I like to always keep a little bit extra here. And then we're gonna move over to the nonprofit. And we are going to put five here. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Right? One, two, three, four, and five. All right. Now we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85. No. <laughs> 20, 40, wait. 
20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, and 85. I'm about to start counting those ones as fives. Now, planners are in stickers. So, planning and stickers, these, this is more like a support a friend envelope. Um, I am going to be buying some envelopes. I love supporting small business. And I am going to be buying, um, some hand painted envelopes I'm going to oh why did I get 60 I'm going to go ahead and add the dis, the the descript the link to the Etsy shop that I'm gonna be buying hold on guys I do not like the fact that I don't even that I cannot remember the Etsy shop name give me a, okay I am back the reason why I could not remember the name is because on Etsy she is penny x penny one and then on instagram when i was talking to her she's wealth is king so i didn't want to give the wrong you know a small business name but i am going to be adding 40 dollars here because i am going to be purchasing some hand painted cash envelopes for myself and then to be given away on this channel in a future giveaway one thing that i do is i start buying little things here and there for my channel because I know I'm eventually going to have a giveaway and then when I have a giveaway I have like a plethora of things to give away because solely I've been buying things here and there and that's one of the things I'm going to be giving away but speaking of giving away I had a live giveaway when I did my ones and fives accounting uh, of my ones and fives I'm going to be announcing the winner of that giveaway over in my community tab. So if you join me on my live, you're going to want to turn on your notifications so that you will know when I post the winner of the $50 cash giveaway over on my community post. But now that that's done, we have 20, 40, and 50 here in planning and stickers. So yay! Okay, so animation and graphics is going to go ahead and get 20. Twenty, thirty, and forty is what we have now. Now we are moving on to last but not least valentine's day i am going to be putting three dollars here these left over three dollars one two and three 50 55 56 57 58 and this is supposed to be for our valentine's day party that i am going to be hosting for our homeschool group all right, you guys, if you made it towards the end of this video, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me today. Please, please, please hit that thumbs up on my video. It really does help out my channel. And if you do see any value in my content, then I hope you consider subscribing and leave a comment down below letting me know that you have joined me on my debt-free journey. I know that I have quite a few new subscribers and I want to say thank you again so much for supporting me and joining me on this debt-free journey. I have no idea where it's going to take my, my family but i am excited about the future and yeah that is all that i have for you today and i will talk to you guys in another video bye